yeah, yeah. I think the time it took to to be awarded will, will probably tell you that um, I think it was harsh on us, to be honest. The uh, I think the Cags's movement, it's a functional movement, he's coming round, it obviously touches his, his hand, but uh, but it certainly wasn't intentional. And uh, no, that, that was a huge disappointment for us in a game that we were we were well in. No, no, but listen, we've seen it all season, some of the decisions. And, and it's part of the luck that's gone against us. We've had a, quite a few, you know, we've had West Ham where centre half sort of arms the ball into the goal, but it cost us late on. And, you know, we'd one point instead of three in that game. So, uh, so yeah, it's happened to us, you know, a number of times over the course of the season. But, um, but yeah, hugely frustrating. Yeah, I haven't seen that, Mike. But it's obviously, you know, I think we've we've seen a lot of decisions. And listen, I don't like to go on about the referees. I'm I'm not one. It's getting the guys will tell you. I know it's a really difficult job, and I try to respect what they have to do. But um, but there is a lot of inconsistency in it, and uh, and some of the decisions are, of course, going to end up costing you. Yeah, very much so. Um, physically, it's tough for us. You know, but having had so many players out throughout the season, um, we uh, that sort of depth of quality isn't probably in our squad that you know a lot of teams maybe in, in Europe, especially at the top end of the league, would have. But um, but what we'll see is the players give everything. They just have to somewhere along the line try and recover players and and, and obviously like today we we bring out. Uh, Wilf and, and Yuri, but we bring in uh, Papi, who I thought did really well. He's he's won recently the, the African Nations, and James Madison, who's a very gifted player. But some of our other guys, we, we haven't been able to change. And then what limits is our fullbacks are coming back, but they can't play 90 minutes. So Ricardo Pereira can only play 60. So there's one sub before you even think about anything else in the game because he's coming off, and then. JJ comes in, so you're trying to get these guys up to match fitness, but uh, but it is a real, real challenge for us. Well, they played two at the front on the way back to Seven Hi. 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 Final piece in this side. Um, what do you think about Charles Bowden's performance? Yeah, yeah, I thought he he did well. He's a uh, good guy. He's, he's committed. He's come back to form uh, over these last numbers of weeks. He had a difficult spell. But he's kept fighting. He's kept working, and uh, yeah, he uh, yeah, I thought he did well in the game. Yeah, I think sometimes it, it, it's the game. You know, if you look at. Uh, both teams today playing 4-3-3 when they had the ball pressing in 4-4-2 so in that structure then you you need a, a striker that can play in between the lines and come underneath and, and Kells is, is more efficient at that than, than Patson if you're looking for someone to stretch the lines get in behind like Jamie then Patson's that guy so um, so yeah it's just you're looking at each game and what each game needs and uh, yeah I thought Kells had some good moments in the game uh, but uh, but yeah, that that's the options that we have at the moment without Jamie. Yeah, yeah. For me, he's the best English keeper at the moment. I think he's top. I think he's progression since he's came into uh, into Arsenal. He's playing at a huge club different expectation on how to play football I think he's dealt with that really well and he looks like he's grown into the club here he's playing now with a canvas if you want to see him earlier on the season he was jumping about but uh, but now he's got a real nice canvas to his game plays well with his feet 
but like I said, he makes saves, and uh, he saved from Barnes. He looked in all the way, and uh, that was a great save that keeps Arsenal in front. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I uh, observing and watching and seeing the, the the level of his game. You know, he clearly he's he's obviously got one game a week as well, so he can really work on it and train and but. Uh, now it's a huge credit to him and and the work that he's been doing. That he uh, now he, he looks outstanding, goalkeeper making saves and very importantly the highest level. You have to be able to have comfort with the ball and he's he's very good with his feet. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Ed. Hey, Ronnie. Um, hey, It didn't change whatsoever. No, that's where he was playing. That's where he was playing. I think. Like he was no, that's when he was pressing. So when he was pressing the game, he was up there, similar to other guard for them. And then when they had, uh, when they were pressing the game, he would push up, and then it was four four two in your press. James was doing a similar role for us. Um, he just maybe started to run a bit more and come back. But uh, but then when he had the ball, the idea was to come drop down into that eight position. So um, so yeah, so without being clever, uh, that that was that was what it was, Rob. So um, but it, it didn't change. Okay. Yeah, I, I think he's, but you know, he's got big potential. I think it's just time and experience. Uh, you know, he's, he's playing game after game. You know, he's, he's got an incredible physicality, and with experience, he, he's only going to get better. You know, he uh, I thought that side was a real threat for us in the in the first half. You know, like, like Thomas as well, at 20 years of age, Harvey Barnes was looked a real, real threat as well. Uh, but yeah, that. That triangle works has been working really well for us, and Kieran is just just patience, just time, experience, intensity. You know, when you're playing three games in the week virtually, for a young player that can be can be tough. You know, especially at a, at a high level. But he's only going to improve and get better, and I think you'll find you'll see that those improvements over these next two or three years. Okay. Thank you so much, Ruben. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thanks.